Hey, welcome to High Level Mastery. And in this video, I'm gonna show you how you can add a payment gateway to your funnel and also add a terms and conditions that they basically have to check off, they have to sign to show that they've officially gone ahead, they accept your terms, they accept your conditions, your privacy policy prior to actually going ahead and purchasing your product. Check it out. So the first thing that you wanna do is you're going to go ahead and you're create, going to create a funnel. Now I've actually designed and created this funnel for you if you want to use it as a template. Uh, go ahead, if you want that, you can actually just click on the link below. You can uh, create a free membership and I've got all these resources and everything in the back end. But the funnel that you want to create is going to look something similar to this. Uh, I created it just for payment with terms and conditions. And then ideally what you can do is you can actually grab this funnel, you can import it into your high level account and then just copy the steps that I have and add that maybe even to a pre-existing funnel if you already have one that's built out uh, or use this and then just modify some of the pictures. But essentially what it's gonna look like is it's a three step. And on this first step, you can see I have packages step one, packages step two, and then I have a congratulations, uh, which is say you officially like purchased our product, you purchased our service, and then there's a terms and conditions. So the way that it works is they'll come first to this page, and I'm just using this from a health and fitness coach. Uh, you can do this for whatever service vertical that you help people out with. And so I created basically it's like step one, and what they do is it actually, it forces them to go in here, enter their details, and uh, you can see it now has a terms and conditions that this is linked to the terms and conditions page that we've already created. They have to actually go ahead and sign before moving on to step two. So they'll enter their details, they can click on this, they can read it. So that's going to open in a new window. And I just threw some random terms and conditions on here. Obviously you wanna take yours, put it into this, but they can go through and they can say, okay, you know, I've read all this stuff, blah, blah, blah. So let's just, we'll fill in some bogus information. So we'll say John Smith, John S at yahoo.com, uh, 561. Uh, okay, so John's gonna sign his name and then it's going to ask, all right, we're good, perfect. Now it's gonna take him to the payment portion. So this will be step two. So they're gonna go ahead, they'll, again, they'll fill in their information. And you can also make this a sticky field. So basically that's saying that if they fill in their information in that first portion, it will actually pre-populate their information in this second one. Uh, and I'll show you that in another training video. So we'll do the same thing. Five, six, one. Cool. So now we're gonna go to step two. Uh, I have my one-on-one -on -one fitness coaching sessions. So there's gonna be three of them for 997. They can enter their card info, they can enter their payment details, and they'll complete their order. And then once that order is completed, so that was the terms, then it will eventually shoot them to a congratulations page. And uh, again, you can modify this however you want, but essentially I'd say put a video on there that says, hey, congratulations, super, you know, super excited to be able to work with you in our one-on-one -on -one coaching session. Please check out the next steps below in order to move on and do X, Y, Z, and whatever your next steps are gonna be. Uh, so it's as simple as that. Now, in order to get the form up and running, what you wanna do is you wanna go to your account uh, down to marketing and then you want to go to form builder. So that's where I am right now And I created a form called terms and conditions and there's a little bit of coding that you have to use nothing too crazy But uh, this is a text field that I added So in order to create your text field on your form you just come down to this area that says standard Go to text you grab the text you can drop it and then you can put whatever you want in there so on this one, uh, by virtually signing this contract, you're agreeing to our terms and conditions. So they have to fill out this info, uh, their full name, email, phone. You may only want their email, you may want uh, email and the phone, you may want some additional information. So you can always add that in there or ask some additional questions. But essentially here's the part you're gonna need from a coding perspective. Uh, so this is just actual HTML script. So there's a thing down here that you can actually grab, this is HTML, and you're gonna drag that and you're gonna drop it. And when you click on it, it's gonna say edit script. So the script that you want, uh, and again, I'll put this in the details, that way you guys have access to them, but it allows you to take your terms and conditions link that's already in the funnel, and you're gonna place that in there, uh, 
And then that way, when they click on this button, it's gonna shoot into a new tab so that way they can read it. And then this final piece on the bottom is a signature field. So that is actually just a custom field. Uh, and what we would do is you would hit add custom field and you want to click on the one that says signature. So when you do that, it's gonna populate just like this. And then this is essentially what you're gonna see. And then the last piece I did was throw a button at the bottom saying, yes, I have read the terms and conditions. So on the funnel itself, so now that you have the form, on the funnel, what you wanna make sure that you do, let's go back to the funnel. So on packages, oops, excuse me, for this first one, for packages one, so let me go into this edit portion. And when you grab this funnel that I'm gonna to provide to you and you import it into here, initially it's gonna say no form found. So the form is not gonna be transferred when you download this funnel into your high level account. So that's why I was showing you before is that you wanna make sure that you actually build out this form specifically. You can call the form whatever you want. I'm calling it terms and conditions. Uh, you just wanna go ahead and create that with the text, the information, the script, which I'll give you, and then the signature. And then in your actual funnel itself, for this portion where it says no funnel found, uh, excuse me, no form found, you wanna go over here to the bottom left. So I clicked on this orange box, and then in the orange box, it's gonna ask you what form do you wanna add. And then over here on the left side, I've got the form and I'm gonna select. So if you have multiple forms in there, they will populate. I'm gonna choose the one that says terms and conditions. And now you can see that this form is officially on this landing page. Uh, here's the other important, important piece too. For your redirect action, this is saying, okay, when somebody fills out your form, where do you want them to go next? So because I just have three very simple steps that are back to back, once they're done with this form, I want them to go to the payment option. So I know the payment option is the next step in my funnel. So I'm just simply gonna say, okay, I want you to go to next step. Now, if there was a totally different URL uh, or something else that I can put that in here, but I'm gonna leave it at that. So just important, make sure you put that in there. And it really is as simple as that. Now, as far as somebody, once they fill that out, uh, so let me go back. And if I wanna see, okay, well, who officially filled out this form and I wanna see their signatures and who signed it, uh, there we go. So I can go back into my form builder and I can look at submissions up here at the top. Uh, so you have builder, analyze and submissions. And I can see right here, I had John Smith. So John Smith signed, there's his email, there's his phone, and there's his signature stating that he's officially read these terms and conditions. So uh, anyways, that's a really simple way for you to go ahead and put that in here. And I'd probably say the only the last piece is in terms of the product, uh, I'll do, and again, I can do another specific video on how to set that up. But for your funnel itself, uh, so in step two, we have the two-step order form in here. And what you wanna make sure is that whatever step your order form is on, that that's where you wanna add your products to. So I'll show you two pieces. I'll show you the actual build out of the funnel. So this is gonna be step two. So they've already filled out the form, they signed, now they get moved to this next step in the funnel. And this right here is just a two step order form. So that's just an element. Uh, so if, for example, if I wanted to add another one, I could hit this little orange plus, and I would scroll to the bottom, and down here, you see two-step order. So I'm gonna, I would essentially drag that order form up underneath, and then that's what populates, and then you can choose what you want to see, or what you want to hide, or you know just fields that are important to you. So I already have that in here, that's this form, and as far as being able to add a product to it, from this main window that you're looking at right now, under products, that's where you want to add your products. So in this case, I had a one-on-one -on -one fitness coaching for three sessions. You can do as many as you like. Uh, you can add multiple products. So if you have, let's just say I have like a three session, a six session, a nine session, uh, maybe I have you know, multiple different types of coaching, I have group coaching. I can add all those under this one series of products. So when they actually go to pay, they're gonna put in their basic information and then it's gonna say, okay, well, what product do you want to pick? So they'll have the option to choose and you can do one of a couple things. So you can either do a subscription, for example, you can do a one-time, which is what I had on this one. So literally they pay it once, it's connected to my Stripe. Once they pay, the payment goes to the bank account and that's it. 
And then the other portion is that you can do a payment plan. So maybe you have like a two pay option or a three pay option or a six pay option. Uh, so you can also do that as well. And then that you just have to make sure that you link up with whatever Stripe plan you have. Uh, you need to create that actually in Stripe first if you are going to do some type of like uh, subscription or payment plan. But if you just have a one-time plan, very simple, you can just put it into here uh, and then that will automatically connect with that order form that you have in this step. So hopefully all that makes sense. Uh, if you have any questions, put them in the comments below. I'll make sure I get back to them. Also, we do have a ton of free training on our site. Uh, there is a link below in the description as well as additional resources, access to the script that I showed you about as well. And uh, if you have any questions in terms of setting up your own automation, we do have a link to my calendar. I'd be more than happy to hop on with you for 15 minutes and just give you a free automation review, let you know how I can help, maybe provide some feedback or guidance, and we can go from there. Uh, so again, let us know if you have any questions. Otherwise, I'll see you in the next training.